Post-game highlights are brought to you by Farmburgessa. Stop by Farmburgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers, or check out their second location in Grandin Village. The Roanoke Rail Yard Dogs are back at home tonight for their 12th game of the 2021-2022 SBHL season here in the Star City. They'll face off tonight against the Fayetteville Marksmen on Roanoke Express Tribute Night at Berglund Center. As the Dogs look to honor the former ECHL club here in the Star City, they'll wear three different specialty jerseys tonight, one in each period. We're underway here in the Haley Toyota Rail Yard Dogs Hockey Network. Leonard right in front of the Fayetteville bench. Shot from distance and it's squeezed through! Unbelievable! A goal for the Dogs! Just a minute and eight seconds in. And I'm not sure how it got there. It looks like it's Jansen that's celebrating what would be his fourth goal in two games. Leonard shot from distance. And I think Jansen got a little tip on it as it took a nasty deflection by Pulaski glove side. Sent it up to the top to Oliveri. He loves that shot and he scores. That didn't take long on the power play. Now Hebner picks up a turnover. Back door McCartney off the left shin pad of Pulaski. Great save. And we'll take a 1-1 game into the locker room for the first intermission. The Dogs coming out, jumping all over Fayetteville, picking up where they left off. Mac Jansen's ninth goal of the year and fourth in the last three periods, assisted by Sean Leonard, his second of the season, and Jeff Jones, his seventh of the season. McCloy will face off with Vela to get things going. Hebner on the left wing, Dodd, skating in hard and got it across the goal line, but not past the goal line. Roanoke breaks out now through McCartney, right wing circle, sends in a shot, it looked like he might have got tripped. As that stick came across, and I do think we are going to get a whistle against Alexi Girard. Hepner on the left wing, back inside Sherwood with the drag, shuts it in, deflected right back out in front of the goal, but cleared. Well, Roanoke still keeping the tempo high, 28 shots to 12 for Fayetteville. They've had the opportunities to take the lead, but we're, we're seeing a lot more of the Jason Pulaski we were used to seeing and not the one that Roanoke saw in the second period on Wednesday night. So he's keeping Fayetteville in this game almost single-handedly. It's one to one. Pulaski standing on his head through two periods. And a huge hit coming. And now Sean Leonard's gonna mix it up with Matt McNair. Here goes Leonard, dropping the gloves behind the Roanoke net. And they split that up pretty quickly. Hepner. Hepner throws it in front of Jansen. Jansen didn't even think the puck would get there. He might have had a great shot opportunity. Now it's Farrell juking back towards the slot. He's going to have a shot. It goes in over the blocker side of Clay's. And now here comes a two on one back the other way. Best wide open. Sends in a shot. Scores. Glove side. Now Sherwood's going to get after it. He jumped on somebody in front of the Roanoke bench. Now Martin's in there, Hepner, Harper, Storman. I don't know who Sher Sherwood is over. But Sherwood's on top. Martin's now tied up with Harper. Harper's helmet's gone. Sherwood finally gets pulled away, and it was Farrell. Now to McCorney at the point. He deserves that one if he gets it. His shot gets knocked down, and Jones scores on the rebound. 
The fat lady is not singing yet. 59.1 to go. Pacorni's played an excellent game. He winds up from the point, and his shot gets knocked down right in front of Pulaski. Finally, a rebound goal for the Dogs, who've been crashing all of them. Your final score tonight here in Roanoke, Fayetteville 3, Roanoke 2. These were your post-game highlights brought to you by Farm Burgessa. Be sure to check out Farm Burgessa in Vinton for delicious farm-to-table burgers or stop by their second location in Grandin Village.